Hello everybody, here you can see me changing a film on the Olympus OM-1. We'll take a closer look at the camera in a few seconds and later walk a bit around the Nymphenburg district in Munich. The Olympus OM-1 is a fully mechanical 35mm film SLR camera. It is relatively small and light feels and looks fantastic and only needs a battery if you want to use the light meter. Unlike many SLRs, the shutter speed is not set on the upper part of the body, but on the bayonet, which allows you to set the shutter speed, aperture and focus with only one hand. By the way, there are a lot of great lenses for the Olympus OM-1. At the bottom of the lens there is a stop down button which sets the current aperture to evaluate the depth of field. And the last important thing on the lens is a button for removing and changing lenses. Directly on the camera is a lever to open the mirror in order to minimize vibrations, for example when taking macro shots. On the same side there is also a self timer and a knob which is needed when rewinding a film. On the other side there is an XFP connection for flash units and you can also mount a hot shoe for flash units or a little light meter if your inbuilt light meter is broken or you don't have batteries. On top of the camera we have the rewind spool, the on off switch for the light meter as well as the ISO wheel, mine was missing so I 3D printed one works good, the shutter release button with a thread for cable release and the film advance lever. If you want to use the inbuilt light meter you can either use a PX625 Mercury battery which can't be bought in most countries no more or just build or 3D print an adapter and use hearing aid batteries. The light meter is shown in the big and bright viewfinder by a small pointer. Unfortunately, the viewfinder does not show any other information, such as the exposure time or the set aperture. To load a film, simply pull up the rewind lever to open the back cover. Then thread in a film, make sure that the film lies with the sprocket holes in the little teeth, carefully wind it once and then close the back cover. Then wind the film once or twice more. If the rewind lever rotates, the film has definitely been loaded correctly. When your film is full, turn the rewind knob on the front of the camera to the horizontal position. Then rewind the film. Take it out and don't forget to turn the rewind knob back to the vertical position afterwards. So that's pretty much all that needs to be said about the camera. Now on to something more relaxed, a short walk through Neuhausen in Munich. <laughs> 